All right, folks, it's Duke here at Duke's RV, and today we're going to take a look at this Bullet 260 RBS. RB stands for rear bath, S stands for the slide. It's got a big slide, it's got a rear bath. It's got a couple of solar panels up on the roof, 200 watts each, that's 400 watts of solar. It has this particular one is equipped with a lithium battery, power tongue jack, and power stabilizer jacks. So this is state-of-the-art uh, with that lithium, the solar, the 400 watts of solar, and it does have a solar charge controller. Let's see if we could take a peek and find that somewhere in here. Well, the first snafu in the production, but we're going to see if we can rebound. Let's see if this door is... All right. There it is. That is a 30-amp MPPT solar charge controller. And look what else this one has. It's got an inverter. That is a pure sine wave inverter. That means you could plug in 110 uh, what, to the 110 outlets inside, just like at your house, even when you're not plugged in at the campground. And with your lithium batteries being powered and charged up with that solar, the solar charge controller, you can run a hair dryer or coffee pot. You can run your Keurig your CPAP machine if you're doing some dry camping and weather like this you got everything you need you got 40 pounds of propane up here so you have hot water you have a furnace keep it warm there's your other solar panel up there uh, so you have the water hot water furnace you've got a, a gas stove LED lights that are very energy efficient so this right here is a boondocking machine we're gonna look at the inside there is your plumb in there. It's got the ladder, walkable roof. It's got a prep for a rear camera. And check it out over here. Anywhere in America, you can have an outdoor cooking experience at the Capitol Grill. I highly recommend it. It's an excellent place to uh, prepare your food. Right here at the Capitol Grill. Located wherever you want to be in America. This is America, baby. Or Canada. If you're watching from Canada, the Netherlands. Anywhere in the world. But uh, that right there is the outside portion of your tankless water heater. Water heater. So hot water on demand if you're plugged in. You've got these uh, marine stereo speakers. There's one on the other side of the door over there. So they're going to hold up to the weather. It's a dual axle rig with a stairwell that makes contact with the ground. We're getting ready to go inside, folks. So see that solar panel there. It also has the Air Weingard Air 360 up on the roof. This is the Lippert Solid Step. I think that's the same company that, uh, let's take a look at this frame. No, it's B&L. So Keystone, uh, B&L is just down the road from Keystone up there in Elkhart, Indiana. And they will, uh, the, the engineers from Keystone, they specifically design this frame for this floor plan. So you've got a place right here you can, it's your battery disconnect. You have a place to disconnect the solar right there. They, this is a this is a state of the art. I, I don't want to shortchange it by not being a, a complete expert on electronics. There are your water connections in this dedicated bay. So you notice if there's a faucet dripping or something, it's going to drip right there. You've got a cover for it. But uh, that's where you put your hoses in. That's your key TV and satellite right there. But you have a hot and cold shower. And uh, there's the spray nozzle for it right there. So kind of jumping around here. So you get to the campground, use your power tongue jacks, your power stabilizers. Even if you don't have a plug, you can uh, turn everything on. Only thing you need really on this one if you want to plug it in is for your air conditioner and microwave. So when you first walk in the door, let's take a peek right here. It's got a huge... Emphasis on huge closet. That is huge right there. I don't know if you can see that. The depth perception there. But that's a big closet right there. All kinds of storage. So you walk in. Greeted by this Thomas Paine furniture. These theater seats. They're very comfortable. I'm going to double check. I'm going to verify that here. Duke's RV. We don't want to take short. Oh yeah. This is comfortable. Right across from your fireplace. So this has a fireplace it also has two AC units, so we know this is a 50 amp unit. It will, uh, 
You can run both ACs. This one's got everything, man. This is a nice rig right here. So you're directly across from the TV. You've got your ambiance, your electric heat. So you don't really need to run your furnace if you're plugged in somewhere. You can run this electric heat. It'll probably keep you warm down until it gets pretty dang cold. So from over here, you see it's got that dinette. That dinette makes it into a bed. you got a lot of space on the floor. If you're 85-90% of the time, you're just going to be using it for a couple of folks that are traveling, one or two and occasionally bring the grandkids or some other friends or family, get an air mattress. You don't want to uh, dedicate all that space, give up all this living area. Check out that kitchen. You got that subway tile motif backsplash. It's conveniently located fridge here. This fridge is on. It's cold in there. And let's check the freezer. Well, yeah, it's, it's cold also in the freezer. Got this little thing here where you can... So this one has not been plugged in. The lights are on. It's still charged up because the sun, see this solar power. All right, the, the kitchen is really conveniently located right here. You even got a place for a wine rack for your uh, luxury wine bottles. If you got some storage right there. So remember, you got a huge, huge storage right here. You could use that for pantry space, closet space. We're gonna get to the bedroom in a second, but we got some closet space in there. You got that stainless steel sink. Uh, residential style fixture there and hey check this out it's got a radius roof barreled roof ceiling it just makes it so much more open just imagine if this was going straight across here instead of arch got more headroom but it just opens it up so this slide out you are surrounded by windows here and let's take a look uh, you've got some uh, access to storage there you see those hidden residential hinges nice hardware this is a nice rig has a usb charging station right there you can power up your phone there's one over there by your recliners also that's going to be convenient so let's take a peek at this the rb section the rear bath you got a nice corner shower with the opaque glass if you're a slightly inhibited bather and uh so but you do have the corner shower you can soak up some natural sunlight as you luxuriate here in your rear bath keystone bullet wherever you want to go in america this is your world baby you don't be waiting on everybody else to give you permission you can give yourself permission you only live once whatever you're contemplating do whatever is the most exciting all right check it out you got double mirrors on this vanity right here and there's also this is something you'll see if there's it so on the other side of this wall there is a uh, outdoor kitchen with that capital grill up above here they're not wasting the space this is huge i'm going to kind of back away so it's, it's a huge area i'd say that goes back a, a good two and a half feet or more you put all kinds of stuff in there that's a great storage area and another thing you're going to notice here see this uh now this heater vent is right here where you'll be sitting on this uh, well-positioned toilet, keep you warm. But that's another thing in the 2023 model. You don't see any heater vents on the floor. They put them in the walls. There's one right there. There's one over there by the, on the foot of the bed. So we're going to take a look at the bedroom. But before we do, I just want you to notice, see that big opening there? That really opens up the coach. So this double sliding door configuration is a favorite thing of mine as far as just making it feel uh, non-claustrophobic. You've got a wall there if you want it, but you can open it up. So you've got lots of air, lots of space. That's just comfort. You feel right at home. You're not cramped in. Uh, you could close these doors for privacy. If you need privacy, if you want to close the door. But uh, this one does have a laundry chute right here if you want to put a laundry basket here for your undies and socks, stuff like that. Here is a uh, wardrobe here. There's another one just like it over there. And then you have these storage compartments up here. Again, hidden residential hinges, nice quality hardware. And then up in there on both sides of the bed, you have the same thing. You have a USB and 110 connection. So uh, it is... Uh, very convenient because you have that little cubby storage there. You can keep your CPAP machine, 
uh, all your stuff, your nine millimeter, whatever you got. You can put a you cat can sleep right there if you're bringing your cat along. But hey, I appreciate you tagging along. My name is Duke. I'm your video host. And let me give you my contact information. As you do one thing for me, just click the thumbs up button if you watched all the way through. So I really do appreciate that. This is a Furion cooktop here. It's got that backsplash right there. It's got an oven. So I appreciate you watching this video. And if you're interested in an RV... I will be happy to help you find the perfect one if this isn't it. But this is a nice one. This has got everything. This is a nice rig. It's the, just recapping, it's a 50 amp unit. It's got two ACs, fireplace. It's got lithium solar charge controller. It's got an inverter. You could plug into these inverted outlets and uh, you can pull over on the side of the road and make a cup of coffee. Do some boondocking out there in Quartzsite, Arizona. If you want to do some crazy stuff like that, go up to Utah, go to Bend, Oregon, over to West Virginia, up there in northern central Florida, back in the woods, wherever you want to go, North Carolina, South Carolina, North Dakota, South Dakota. All right, I'm, I don't want to expose my lack of geography skills. Hey, look at that. That's the closet. So it's got all the state-of-the-art electronics. It is all kinds of stuff. Hey, thank you very much.